Biomass is really anything that the sun has made. So you take sunshine, you take water, and you take carbon dioxide, and you make biomass. So that can be uh, uh, straw, it can be trees, it can be algae. Uh, really anything that the sun has helped grow is what we define as biomass. If nature didn't break the, that plant material down, we'd basically be uh, about a million kilometers under biomass just now, because it would keep growing and it would keep accumulating. So really nature uh, is, has been great in terms of finding a way to keep cycling the material. So the research we're working on is how we would define it as the biorefinery. So analogous to the oil refinery where you make fuels and chemicals from oil, we're taking biomass and we want to make a range of fuels and chemicals from biomass in a sustainable and hopefully economic way. The big challenge is that we're uh, trying to speed up something that nature designed to be a very slow process. That's why I designed trees to last for, look at the giant redwoods, they're there for uh, thousands of years. How do we speed it up? Well, we speed it up by using a form of pretreatment, which means the pretreatment opens up the material itself, which allows the enzymes to get in. So instead of using one or two enzymes, let's put in a battery of enzymes. And the analogy we use is uh, like a, a football team. It's not just the quarterback that's working, you've got the whole team working together. And that's basically how you can get through the defense and break it down a lot quicker. I think biofuels and biomass are gonna be a big part of the future. And the other big attraction I think for biomass is it's very democratically distributed. Those poorer countries can grow lots of biomass. They might not have any oil or coal or natural gas, but they've got biomass and they can then use that technology as a way of uh, fueling their, their energy needs. We want to be the living laboratory. The idea is that uh, sustainability is really important for both the city of Vancouver and UBC. So the living laboratory concept is to show that we can actually uh, walk the talk instead of just talking about sustainability, we demonstrate it.